Okay, here's another time to perk test, a little variant on the previous um, stove. Uh, standard Trangia burner, everything's cool. 16 ounces of water in the 6 cup percolator. Uh, same 3.5 inch diameter, um, same height as the upside down west wind stove. I have to get a measurement on that, I forget what it was. Um, but instead of the foil wind heat shield wrapped around the uh, uh, around the hardware cloth, just simply made one a standalone unit, same uh, two ply uh, two ply heavy duty aluminum foil. Put that around the uh, the unit here, and with the lights, we'll fire that puppy up. Again, we'll let that blossom, then uh, stick her on and start the clock. See how long this one takes and uh, record its time and such. Again, we're uh, 70 degrees, tap water, just got it a minute or two ago, so it hasn't had a chance to warm up. And uh, we hear our little blossom pop, so we'll stick this on here and hit the timer. And again, we're looking for two consistent perks, rapid succession. Okay, two and a half mark, and we see the we got a little flame coming out the other side. Uh, I guess I don't have that perfectly centered, unfortunately. Okay, we've got a first sign for perk. Sorry for the background noise, neighbors are doing the yard. And we have perk at four minutes and 13 seconds. Uh, because of the noise, I'll come back to you. Okay, well, four minutes, 13 seconds. That's pretty darn good. That's closer to what I had before. Um, but it did incur some damage on the, uh, the heat shield. Um, you see this, um, it's burned away part of the, the uh, I guess that's a fold over, so uh, a little bit of the edge fold over there and it's discolored the aluminum. This is where that plume was shooting out on the back side I showed you. Uh, otherwise it uh, held up pretty darn good. Um, these are the holes on the bottom, just some slits cut to let the air in. And uh, I'm going to fold this down about, oh, another half an inch because right now it's right at the top, kind of flush with the top of that uh, uh, hardware cloth support and this is uh, again three and a half by three and a quarter that's the height of that upside down west wind stove so um, I'm going to fold that over and get back to you and test again okay we've reset everything put 16 ounces of water in the pot uh, refilled the stove and now I folded over the top edge the one that had burned a little bit uh, I think you can probably see that now the uh, the height here is about a half an inch below the top of the the actual pot holder so when I put that around there it should look something about this time I'll, I'll endeavor to make that a little more evenly spaced around the perimeter it's hard to make aluminum foil a perfect circle but that's pretty darn close so we'll uh, light this one let her bloom start the test one more time see if we get consistent results. Uh, it's pretty good. I mean, uh, four, 4 minutes 13 seconds for 16 ounces. That's not bad considering the inefficiencies of the pot. All right, we've got a blossom. Uh, we'll get ready here. And we'll put that on there gingerly. We'll start everything. Verify that's in the center, and it's not. OK. And we're going to let that one burn, see what we come up with. Okay, 4 minutes 24 seconds. We've got a nice perk. We've got uh, good containment on the fire, and that's only 10 seconds different from a 4, so I'll put that one in the margin of error. Uh, I can certainly, I would certainly say that the difference between the two, cutting this down a little bit and not, um, is pretty inconsequential. So in summary, what have we learned? Well, I think we can uh, definitely say that flame height makes a huge difference, probably the biggest uh, of them all. Um, you know, times don't lie, and it uh, <laughs> looks like uh, about an inch and three quarters, which is the same as the inverted uh, west wind stove, seems to be pretty ideal for this Trangia stove. Um, 
we saw efficiencies just using the, uh, the, the hardware cloth and then adding a windscreen or a reflector. This time we didn't get any burning around the edges. Um, flame looked pretty, uh, pretty consistent all the way around. We didn't have big plumes exiting the, the outside. It was a little more diligent getting in the center. Probably had a lot to do with it. And uh, looks like we're doing really good. The only thing is when we get it that hot, it does tend to sit up the uh, bottom of the pot a little bit. Ooh, that handle's hot. And uh, I think that's mainly because of the uh, disturbance of the actual uh, tines of the hardware cloth. But I'm not really sure there. Anyway, um, good stuff.